Yo. Oh my god. No freaking way. Are you serious? Is this real? Is this actually happening? Yo, he looks so good too. Oh my god. Look at that. That is dirty. Oh my god. Yes. Okay, guys. It's your boy Tacho here. And we're back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes. And it looks like we have the announcement for... I want to say the most long-awaited Resplendent Hero. <laughs> so, the man himself, Ryan Daddy, is going to be the next Resplendent Hero. And this is good for multiple reasons. First of all, he is... I, I want to say also <laughs> the number one plus ten merge project for all the free-to-play players. He's the number one meme hero in our barracks. <laughs> Magic is everything. Dude, he does everything, man. He is still to this day one of the best blue tome units in the entire game. And he's also a three-star and four-star summonable character. Another thing that we've been wanting for a long time. I know a lot of people always like to <laughs> bully the Fey Pass options. Because for whatever reason, they've been doing nothing but five-star exclusives. Like, if we go back here... We'll see that we just got Elincia today, and yeah, I know I'm structuring this video very differently from how I usually do my Resplendent videos. I'm not going to chip you guys either. We are going to cover Elincia in just a sec. I do have some builds for her to show you guys, but I guess <laughs> more importantly than Elincia is freaking Reinhardt for the moment, dude. So his attire, let's see what they have to say here. So here's Reinhardt. The hero that some say is second, the second coming of the Crusader Thrud, yes. Thrud is one of the Jugdral Crusaders that, from a long time ago, he was like this super badass, unmatched lightning tome unit that... Basically, it's Reinhardt and Ishtar that are living out his legacy, and Ishtar... She's pretty badass, but she's not quite as badass as the man himself, of course. So, <laughs> Reinhardt is the second coming of Thrud. That's literally how they introduce him. And he's supposed to be this indestructible character. The map where you fight him in Thrakia, Leaf is pretty much supposed to lose that fight. <laughs> it's like, it's a map in which you're not meant to win, and that's how the story is set. But somehow, Leaf is able to pull a rabbit out of the hat and get one over on Reinhardt. It also helps if you have Olwyn recruited, because Reinhardt will never turn on his dear sister. I believe that was also one of the story implications there, is that Reinhardt, his love for his sister Olwyn is really one of the things that held him back in that battle. So, Reinhardt, pretty awesome unit. This time, the Mage Knight from Frege is making an appearance in some eye-catching Askrin attire. Yo, this is what Askrin attire can look like. <laughs> Damn, man. Hold on, let me see if I can make this bigger. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, this is Astra attire. Dude, this looks really good. <laughs> he looks like the the Duke of England or something, man. <laughs> really well-dressed. I love these FE4 characters, especially the males. Okay, well, I guess Reinhardt is from FE5, but... I just love the look of these drug drill male characters where... They're like all decked out to the nines, and they look like they're they're like really high class society dudes. It's pretty awesome, and this is really good special attack art, by the way. Yeah, the damaged art as well, pretty good. This is really good. I mean, the only way this could be better, in my opinion, is if they went with the hell attire again, and they pulled another Eldigan situation where they made this guy look like he's from Castlevania. But this is still pretty good. I like it. Alright, his voice lines, such interesting clothes, I hardly recognize myself. I don't know, man. Other than the color being white, it looks pretty similar to what he had on before. Where he looked like Dracula, almost, with the, the slicked back hair and the, the black suit. Definitely made him look like Dracula in the old days. Right, I was once a man, forced down a single path. But perhaps in this world, more lie open to me. Yeah, pretty awesome. I, You know, honestly, I really hope that we get confirmation that the next big Fire Emblem game is actually going to be a Jugdral remake. 
if they manage to do it right, I think it could be really good. Because, honestly, besides Radiant Dawn and Path of Radiance, of course, which I think was where they really got the story in Fire Emblem to the epitome, I think if they did FE4 justice in a remake, or I, maybe we could include Thrakia in there as well. I, I'm not sure how they'd be able to handle that, because, of course... Thrakia is mainly just a spin-off of Fire Emblem 4, almost, where Leaf is going on his own journey apart from Selif, and he has to pretty much survive like a thief, which is why he's featured as a thief in Awakening. His forces are very outmatched in a lot of the fights that he goes into, so he doesn't win by normal tactics most of the time. And that's also another reason why Thrakia is a game where there were so many different win conditions. I'm pretty sure, like, the escape maps where you had to get to a certain point and also, like, this, the different win conditions, basically, is what I'm getting at, were introduced in Thrakia pretty much outside of just route the enemy for the most part, which is how it was in a lot of the other games. So, <laughs> yeah, like, Leaf's story... I've never been a fan of Thrakia's story because it's very much just a spin-off almost, and it, it doesn't feel as important as Fire Emblem 4 to me in the grand scheme of things, where you're going up against Lopter and all of these like crazy characters in Fire Emblem 4. Arvis as well, one of the most memorable villains because of how dirty he did my boy Sigurd. So I've always liked the story in the Juggle Games second best to Tellius. So if they announced a remake for Juggerl, I would be really down with that. I'm sure it would do well as well, because of course Reinhardt is probably the most popular character to come out of Fire Emblem Heroes. So if they were able to make him recruitable or something, yeah, I'm pretty sure a Juggerl remake would do very well for itself. So that's pretty much all my thoughts on Reinhardt. Let me know in the comments section down below what you guys think, but... They hit, like, everything on the head with this next resplendent art. First of all, it's freaking Reinhardt. Second of all, of course, he is going to be three-star and four-star summonable. So a very easy merge project. And also, another thing is that he's not a red unit, which they like to spam down our throats. So he's just a win on every single front. So very awesome resplendent there. All right, let's go ahead and move on to <laughs> resplendent booty up next. Alright, so Booty Queen Alincia, I, I love this art. Memes aside, she looks really great. I like the attire there. So she has the black and green, which I think are two colors that really suit Alincia well. They match her hair, like I said in the original video where I talked about her. So pretty good artwork for Alincia. Very nice special attack art there as well. And of course she got them cheeks on full display in the damaged art. I don't mind it, but I do think Alincia is a little bit more classy than that. She could totally, like, court some men without having to throw the cheeks in their face, right? Okay, but pretty good art. That's all I have to say about Alincia's art. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at some builds now. Now, typically, I'll show the base kit and, like, all these other things, recommended ivies and such. I think you pretty much want to go plus speed for Alincia, so we'll say that much. Okay, well, I guess we have the high investment build up first. I'm going to show off a budget build in just a second, but pretty much this is how you want to build Elincia. Let me see if I can make this a bit bigger for you guys. Yeah, that should do just fine. Okay, so we have Amity with the Refine. It's literally just a Brave Sword with, I believe it's got 11 Might, and then it has the Brave Attack effect on the player phase, not the enemy phase. And instead of doing minus 5 to her base speed, it only does minus 2. So, a very solid Brave weapon. She also has got Reposition, Ruptured Sky, Swift Sparrow 3, Dive Bomb, which is <laughs> pretty much the best skill to give her, Speed and Defense Rain, and then Attack and Speed Solo 3. So, this is my recommendation for a high investment build on Elincia. You could probably do some other things as well, like maybe instead of Speed and Defense Rain, you could go for Odd Tempest and have her move three spaces potentially on odd number turns. You'd probably try a different seal as well. I'm not sure what would give you more value than Attack and Speed Solo though. 
So just consider that. Maybe Swift Sparrow 2 would be more consistent or... Yeah, that, honestly, that's probably it. Because <laughs> with Dive Bomb, you don't want to take any chip or take any additional damage. So the Brazen skills are automatically off the table. Swift Sparrow 3 is my recommended A skill, but of course, speed and or attack and speed solo 4 would work as well. And if you don't want to go Ruptured Sky, you could also try Gale Force. Have her just rush in and Gale Force the foes. Yeah, you know, maybe instead of attack and speed solo, you could go for Heavy Blade 3 or... Or I was actually going to say Flashing Blade 3 there, but you can't run that on flying type units, of course, for whatever reason. So if you wanted to go Heavy Blade Gale Force, maybe that could work as well. Her attack isn't that bad, honestly, and 11 mites on a brave weapon... That's still better than the ninja weapons, which only have 9 might. So you may be able to get away with that. Maybe if you wanted to run Heavy Blade, then Attack and Speed Rain might be a better idea. Or Attack and Defense Rain. The Rain skills are very flexible, to be honest. You can run whichever combo of stats you want. As long as it includes Speed, Defense, or Attack, I think it's a good idea to give her a Rain skill like that. So that's our high investment build. And for the budget build, we have here pretty much the same idea, except instead of Dive Bomb, we're running the budget Desperation. We got the Brazen skill, of course, and Fury for the classic chip. We have a lot of sources of attack and speed push 4 now, though, with the upcoming, whatchamacallit, the Divine Codes 2. So if you want to invest a little bit more in this Alencia, you could easily just toss attack and speed push 4 her way from the Grail Shop, or not, not the Grail Shop, my bad, from the Compile Shop. So that could be another option, but Fury 3 will work fine for a budget build. And of course, the Brazen skill for the low HP requirement with Desperation. And Hone Flyers is just my pick for a C skill on her. That's what I run on my Alencia, because I run her on a Flyer team. It's pretty good, even to this day. It's a little high investment for a budget skill, because... I think it only comes from the Bath Time Camilla for free-to-play. So maybe if you don't want to run Hone Flyers, you could just go for, I guess, Gold Flyers or Ward Flyers or even four to five Flyers would work. So that's pretty much all there is to say about Alencia. Very solid unit, to be honest. Very good artwork and also very good refine when you consider that she can get Dive Bomb. Pretty awesome stuff overall. But <laughs> the man of the hour... With the magical power is, of course, the homie, Reinhardt. So, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments section down below what you guys think of both Alencia and Reinhardt. And who do you think is coming up next in the Fey Pass? I'm actually very excited for who's going to be next. Because it looks like they've gone back to doing the 4-star and 3-star heroes. And giving us exactly who we wanted for a while now. So there could be some promising things coming up on the horizon. That's all for tonight, though. This is your boy Tacho signing out. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. And I'll catch y'all again on the flip side.